These AAA videos show whether you're texting or making sure your lipstick's on just right. Distracted driving takes your eyes off the road, no matter what you're doing. When your head's down for two seconds, that's kind of the magic point at which you've now lost track of what's happening in front of you. Robert Molloy's with the National Transportation Safety Board and told Trenton lawmakers today traffic fatalities spiked 9% nationally in the first half of this year. That means more than 19,000 people died in just six months. And I believe one of the reasons we're seeing crashes go up, despite all the great efforts that the states are doing to reduce crashes, is because of the ubiquity of these devices. So reading a text message or talking on a wireless phone can have catastrophic consequences. The NTS believes a significant number of lives can be saved and injuries avoided if New Jersey expands and strengthens its already strong laws. Malloy advised banning all non-emergency use of portable electronic devices. He said drivers should pull over to use any app that demands more than two seconds of concentration. The Assembly Transportation Committee is considering a bill to prohibit distracted driving and solicited testimony from experts. The question isn't whether or not using your cell phone in the car is a safety risk. The, really, the question is, do we value safety over convenience? But some raised concerns about how much government can actually control driver activities. One study showed nearly 30 percent of drivers admitted last year they go online while on the road. And should navigation, voice to text, or even climate control functions be disabled? We cool it enough and then all of a sudden it gets a little too cold. And that's I mean, again, is that going to be considered a distraction? Do you take the climate control systems out of cars? If somebody texts me, it prints out on my dashboard, you know, the message. It will read it back, but it's still asking me to hit listen, ignore, or whatever. We've mitigated the manual distraction. You can't, you can't hold your phone. We've mitigated the visual distraction. You can't text it. But crashes keep going up. AAA's Kathleen Lewis says millions of cars now feature built-in voice recognition technology, and that's even more distracting. As we put these devices in cars, we give people a false sense of security that it is safer. It's been put in your vehicle. It is now safe for you to do. We know that's not the case. The committee didn't vote on the distracted driving bills. Federal agencies in AAA say they plan to meet with car makers and electronics companies like Apple. The objective, keep the apps useful, but at the same time, keep drivers' eyes on the road. At the Statehouse, I'm Brenda Flanagan, NJTV News.